Hi guys, good morning and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in today's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and very good episode. Well, I should rephrase. It's not the latest episode. It's technically from last week, even though it is dropping later tonight on AMC. It dropped a week ago on AMC+. Plus. I just finally had a chance to watch it just now, so I really enjoyed it. So welcome to the technically my latest episode review for the latest episode of Fear the Walking Dead, even though a brand new episode dropped today on AMC+, Plus, which I'm about to watch and will review later shortly. But for now, I'm about to review the episode called The Raft, so if you haven't seen or watched this episode yet, don't keep watching or listening as I'm going to be discussing spoilers, plot details, character stuff, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. Let's get right back into it. First and foremost, I know I've said this before in a million other reviews, both for Fear and The Walking Dead, but I really do enjoy it when characters can use past trauma or similar life experiences and they see it in someone else who's struggling or going through the same things that they once did and help them try to come back into the light. And what I mean by that in this episode is that Dwight almost instantly recognized and saw something in Wes when he was holding them at gunpoint, wanting Mo back. And Dwight starts to like chuckles. He's like, you know, I used to be a lot like you. I was somebody else's right hand. And I uh, do, I thought I was doing the right thing by trying to stay, by trying to stay alive, but it wasn't worth everything that I lost, you know, and everything like that. So I really love it that Dwight sees a lot of himself in Wes and Wes is so reminiscent of him because now he's become one of Strand's allies or top rangers and he doesn't really seem to care about the feud between Morgan and Strand. He just wants to survive and I'm sure w there's a part of Wes, like Sherry pointed out, if he really was that cold, he would have shot them both and taken Mo. So I'm not willing to write off Wes just yet. In fact, I'm not willing to write off Strand quite yet either. Like I mentioned in the last video, Howard was the bigger douchebag between Strand and uh, Howard. Like Howard was not as likable as Strand is. And Strand is still pretty likable for me, you know, for the most part. So I like to think that Wes isn't too far gone either, but we'll see what happens. We only have like three or we only have two or three episodes left this season and a lot can happen in just one episode. So um, I liked that aspect of it. And I also liked how the central conflict of the storyline between Dwight and Sherry in this episode was a very understandable, justifiable fear that if Sherry told Dwight that she was pregnant and she is indeed, and you know, she was worried that he would go back into becoming uh, Dwight the savior rather than Dwight the husband and soon to be father. Because it's like, well, if you knew I was pregnant or if you wanted to do whatever was best for Mo for this baby, you might tr like try to cut a deal with Strand or join Strand in the tower. And I was really suspicious that Dwight actually wasn't surrendering to Wes and the Rangers. I figured it was a ploy just to disarm them and allow Sherry to get away with the baby. And sure enough, that's exactly what it was. So that was a little predictable, but it was still satisfying and pleasing to watch. So I, I still liked that. I also liked how Alicia's trauma and past experience in that uh, caved-in tunnel and her old weapon being left behind was actually a godsend for Dwight, Sherry, and Mo because that's how they were able to escape. And once they had the proper incentive, which was knowing that she was indeed, Sherry was indeed pregnant, they managed to uh, dig themselves out of there, which I also really enjoyed seeing. Um, I wonder who let all the walker craters out of the the crater or the pit, basically. Could it be Strand or one of his rangers who uh, wanted to replenish the moat since Morgan seemingly bled them all away? Or did somebody let them all out and attempt to uh, destroy the tower for their own reasons? Or is it someone or something else that we haven't met or seen yet? So we'll see what happens. I like how they're really starting to up the stakes now with now everyone having to abandon the submarine because of the radiation leak. And then we saw their numbers after they set 
uh, Morgan and Mo away. I don't believe uh, Lenny, ja Lenny James is leaving the show. I seriously doubt it. We have not gotten an official character or actor exit confirmation. I believe this is purely temporary, and I'm sure he'll be back before the season ends. I'm sure he'll reunite with whoever's left standing, whether or not all an all-out battle takes place at the tower or not. I mean, Strand and Alicia could actually cease their tempers rather than allowing them to flare because as Alicia revealed towards the end of this episode, there's still a part of her that will still cares for Strand despite everything he's done, despite everything he's done to them and everything they've been to, there's been through. There's a part of her that still cares deeply and that really that really makes a lot of sense to me because as much as we might become infuriated with those we love for whatever reason, whether we're justifiably angry with them or not, there will always be a part of us. Of course, it does depend on the severity of what they do to us. There will always be a part of us that uh, no matter how angry or upset we might be with a loved one, we will always care for them. Like a little part of us will always care for them in some regard. And I think that's what Alicia was expressing to Morgan. And she's like, I'm not sure if when the time comes if I'll be able to kill Strand because he's me he's meant so much to me. But Morgan seems pretty sure that she'll be able to do it if it comes to it. So we'll see what happens. But um, very good episode. Nasty, ugly looking walkers. It was a decent episode of excitement and character drama, I felt like. This was a well-balanced episode. And it was um, a bit more lighthearted, too, than the past couple episodes, which saw, unfortunately, a lot of big character deaths and just overall a lot of darkness. So I like this episode a lot. And I'm really excited to watch the follow-up episode because the teaser for it from uh, this episode looked really, really good. So I'm going to get to that soon. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the Raft episode as much as I did. What did you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it. Thank you so much for watching and bearing with me as I play catch up on my content. Have an awesome rest of your day if I don't see you. And if you do want to come back, check back in a few hours when I will have my other most recent review for Fear the Walking Dead uploaded. Have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, May the force be with you.